Now to a 16 WAPT investigation. Copies of police reports left in a dumpster unshredded. A tipster told us about this security breach. Tonight, the state's attorney general and JPD leaders are talking. I went through a dumpster and I found your police report with your, um, let's see, it has your phone number, your address, what you do, your social security number, and all kinds of other personal information on it. Oh, you did? Yes, I did. That's one of the stunned responses I got from a crime victim after I pulled a copy of his police report from JPD out of a precinct dumpster. This bag is full of unshredded documents, a gold mine for criminals looking to steal your identity and ruin your credit. Imagine how Carmitha Scott feels when I found her report in the bag. She called JPD to report a case of identity theft. I was very shocked and surprised about it because you would think that the police department or the officer that takes report would go turn the information in so they can further investigate. I kept the bag. This is what somebody else would do. They would just take the whole bag. And let Mississippi Attorney General Jim Hood look inside. You know, it does concern because it contains information like social security numbers. Um, we in government are required to redact that information if we're uh, to release those documents publicly. He says once thieves get your social security number and open accounts, it can take a long time to fix your credit history and clear your name. He assured us he would take action. Um, there are reports of, uh, of, of from the city of Jackson Police Department, and, and it'll be a, you know something I'll, uh, I'll let the chief know about. I handed over the bag to the Jackson Police Department. We're comfortable that we have a procedure, but as you know, every now and then somebody wants to breach the procedure. Right. So people should feel very comfortable in knowing that we have a system in place to dispose of these reports. Okay. Assistant Chief Lee Vance says the bag is full of copies of police reports, which officers usually keep. He says he'll look to see which officers signed the bottom of the reports to find out who's accountable. We'll have to deal with that on an individual basis. If it was one officer or however many, we'll deal with it, remind them of our uh, procedures, and if it's a large enough breach, we will deal with them through the disciplinary process. Carmitha Scott has advice for you. Just be careful and hope that you are not a victim of identity theft. And for JPD. So if you need a shredder, that they don't cost that much money. Well, I talked to Carmitha Scott, who says she is still working to clear her name. The Attorney General's office has some good information about identity theft protection on its website. We have a link to the website inside our story on WAPT.com.